Classic Confessions this week is without Jemima, but it's with a whole load of my summer clothes, some of which are 20, 25 years old, because I think it's my oldest wardrobe in terms of things I've kept the longest. So this Classic Confessions is about reinventing old summer friends. Let's start. Old summer clothes that I have had for at least 20, 25 years and I take out every single time I go on a summer holiday. How can I make them seem fresh and new? I've had this dress since longer than I've been a mother and I'm going to have that same old picture of me in that same old summer dress on the holiday. How can I spruce up that summer wardrobe feel so it feels fresh and new? So it can be simple things like switching out the necklace I always used to wear it with with something a little bit madder, which is this very old Stella McCartney bauble necklace and then a pair of cool sunglasses. But it's still fundamentally the same thing, isn't it? It's still this very aerated dress. So do I want to belt it now or do something different? Or do I want to make this into a belt if I can? I've never thought about that, let's try it. I've sort of done it and folded it over and put some earrings on, it's nice. I'll tell you what I find about this dress is I've always felt it washed me out a bit and I feel I'm leaning too much into the gold. So do I just go somewhere entirely different? Or do I just let go of the dress? One last try. H&M, when in doubt, two of my favorite necklaces are the shell one and the yellow neon one. So I quite like this idea. I'm still not doing anything with the shape of the dress or whatever, but I'm just accessorizing. I'm still leaning in, but I'm going shells instead of gold. And I could even just say, hell, what if I go back and I do neon? Neon always does something, so I could do neon. Neon does not to switch up everything. You see the kind of washed outness that this had before has slightly gone. This necklace does say so many things, but even I think it's perhaps too much of a clash. I know why I've taken this on holiday and never worn it, because this is my worst neckline. It's like this kind of open neckline here. So I've got to change it because I got it made in India. It was not expensive. It's a really nice thin cotton, but this makes me feel very granny. I've got a sonar coming on tomorrow. I'm thinking, can I save it? Because I just look sloping shoulders, sloping no shoulder. That's how it makes me feel. It's got to be changed. By the way, I don't wish to insult anyone who is a grandmother. My expression of very granny is my interpretation of when I was younger, feeling granny, it was grannyish. It just makes me not feel ageless. So this is an interesting one because I had this also before Lila was born, so it's like 20 something years old from Melissa Odebash. I wore it for ages and I didn't wear it and it was a bit too long and I might just get the bottom cut off because it's a little bit dirty at the bottom too. But the yellow is pretty, the shape is good, it's comfortable, very, very easy to wear and definitely will be worn again maybe just made shorter. It's little tweaks sometimes and then they become your friend. It's really good to think of what you never wore when you get back from a holiday and then put that in a separate box to think about giving, donating or selling. Also just to say, I would put some nice makeup on with it. White earring, this is mama. On holiday, I take probably about four sheer shimmers and that's it and I do my whole face with them. Earrings wise, I quite like the shape of filling in when my hair is back in a um, double triangle because when you have a long neck, it just doesn't elongate your neck and your long face any further. It slightly broadens out here, which is where I need the breadth for my earring. I've done a little thing on this in my book, all about different shapes you should wear for sunglasses and earrings. Sarongs make really good potential evening outfits. So it's all about how you tie them. And I like to go in, out, and then in again like that. It's about whether you put belts on and do things that make them feel more evening-ish. So I'm looking for a blue necklace down here, which I might take something really kind of quite full on as opposed to casual, because I think that's what one needs, like that. And then perhaps some gold sandals, because I see that there's gold in the necklace. So let's go and get some of those. I've put on my gold, gold um, bangles from Zara and I haven't worn these yet. They came in gold and silver from Zara, but I'm literally, that's all I'm gonna wear on holiday with some trainers um, and yeah, that's it. So that's my look and I might tuck it in more at the back, but it's a really beautiful, fine uh, cotton. 
and I love the fact that the print is geometrical and not floral. I like the little blue together. So I could do this look. I feel it's quite Balinese, but still not like I'm not making effort for dinner. And I think that jewellery, popping and tailing, is crucial here. I've just found a really old Stella McCartney scarf and some very old trousers I bought for 10 euros in my village in France. And I want to try and make an outfit out of both of them. So first up, here is the scarf. It's lovely, um, but it's just a bit sort of baggy at the back and you really feel I'm wearing a sarong for dinner, so I don't do that. The trousers are really old. I don't know if they're still gonna work. And then I'm gonna put on my silver version of the Zara shoes. So convenient and so utterly comfortable. And then I want to do something to have up with a belt. So I've got my Prada belt here. But I, I do like the drape. I think belting it kind of ruins it. Or actually not. You know, it could work too. So I'm going a bit full on putting some earrings on as well in blue. These are really old Saint earrings. I like the fact I've kept this open a bit here and I think the back does work. So I could do it belted or unbelted. But I'm so happy with that outfit, I can't wait to wear it. And these um, little shoes are just the best purchase of the summer. I've got this see-through thing I used to wear a lot from Zara, but I'm gonna try and dress it up so that I can actually wear it with something underneath. I put underneath this clever little piece from Skims, which is a strapless bandeau. And I have it in a few colors. Chloe actually got it first and I saw it on her and I thought it's great. I have it in two different um, nude tones depending on how light I am. Uh, and then <clears throat> I've got oranges as well. So it's given it that layering moment. I'm topping and tailing it with some silver bangles I got from Zara, really fun bangles. And then my trousers that I got in three colors from my um, village in France. 20 euros and then sandals that I got in India so I like that I could do a long necklace in silver as well like that in the middle I like that it's quite bulky but I still do like it alternatives I think it actually needs something more refined so I'm taking the Dries van Noten necklace and putting that on top but I'm so happy with this this must have cost me 19 quid I think cost per wear is about 10p now and it's just a perfect summer piece because it takes so little room when you pack it. And I'm so determined to do good hand luggage and still have glamorous outfits because when you're on holiday, you want to enjoy it the most and wear clothes that you love and not compromise. And if it gets cold, I can have my um, neon jumper that I can wear at Central Antwerp and I can wear it like that. But I could also do that kind of slightly... I mean, I don't know if I like doing jumpers like this, but just to wear it a different way. Can I do that? Seems a bit mucky. Um, I think I just have it draped around my shoulders if it got cold. I don't think it's gonna get cold, but it adds that little touch of the neon that I have underneath. So it might be the one jumper I take. I want to see how much else it goes with. I found this old chestnut, which was a holiday purchase when I was at my sister's house in Spain. It has a hood. I mean, what I was on when I bought it, I don't know but it's linen, which I usually don't wear either, but I love the color. So what can I do with it to make it work? Lights have gone out and I'm a bit hot and bothered. I mean, I can put that underneath it and I can wear it like during the day, something fun, but it might take up quite a lot of room in my luggage and I just don't know how I'm gonna do this. I've even put the little shoulder pad things on here to give myself more shape, but it's still just so unstructured. I'm tempted just to have that like that for something um, and then oh hang on I've seen this lying here which I got another of my little things from uh, my shop up I like that whole orangey moment another bit of fabric I got in India I love these bits of fabric so much I just don't think I can do I mean now I'm turning it into something just like for the sake of it wrong wrong orange okay I'm not taking and I got some packing cases from Amazon. I did a big Amazon shop up, like the Russian dolls. There's about two, three, four, five, six of these sets in here. Seven, actually. And I'm gonna pack my bikinis and my sarongs in this. Eight bikinis and eight sarongs are in there. That's all that I'll wear during the day. 
because I'll wear the sarongs as different sort of forms of dresses and I'll put them on for lunch. So that's half my packing done. This is the kind of dress I used to wear a lot, which is perfectly lovely, but I just feel frumpy in it. And I cannot describe why. I think it's this neckline with this going across. This has never suited me. And I'm thinking, what can I do to it to make it better? Because that doesn't work. I think it's time for the scissors. I think I'm gonna say goodbye to this. Yep, I am. Now I've done it, I'm a bit aren't I? Luckily, it has a button at the top. But now it's just got, it's a little bit sexier maybe. My boobs are looking all right. So I could do that. Do I like it? What do you think? Do you think I've ruined the dress? A, or do you think it looks better? B. It's amazing what you find in your cupboard. I found this really old long round dress in the most beautiful fabric. And go like that. Which I thought was a scarf. And guess what? It is a scarf! It's a scarf! So I took the scarf and I just put one strategic pin here and I put it across like that. It's really about leaning into the print. And then I thought, let me take the border and create that lovely under bit. And then let me draw the fabric from the other side in and then go over and then I take a really old brooch I got about 40 years ago and put it there and voila my evening dress when you have the right pattern on a scarf you can do nearly anything with it so happy I could go on endlessly about how to tie scarves to make good outfits from nothing from a piece of fabric and I want to do a whole cloth confessions on it so if you think you'd like to kind of play with scarves and make outfits, I will do that with you. So from the front, I love it. From the back, it's gonna basically look like a sarong, but it could be actually that it's just like that. That's kind of nice. That's it for this week. I'm going to give some of the stuff to S. Susanna to do some tweaks on, and I'll show you over the next couple of weeks, I'm going on a couple of quick trips, and I'll show you some of the looks, and tell me what you'd like to see. Bye.